Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry it's been a while since my last video and just wanted to talk to you guys about um, one of my earlier experiences that I talked out well, talked about, excuse me. Not in full detail, but a little bit in my first video, which was my coming out video and that was about the sexual abuse I experienced as a child and that's something that I've been trying to work on internally and just emotionally to allow my soul and inner child to have some peace from that experience and to move on from that and it's crazy because it's like one of those things where it just seems like sometimes you feel like you've overcame it, you're fully over it, and little things will remind you or trigger you, especially if, you know, dreams and such and things you see on TV or, you know, social media posts, and it just reminds you of that experience. And, you know, oh my gosh, like I haven't fully dealt with this. And that's what I've been working on lately is trying to heal myself of that little by little. I know it's not going to be an overnight process, but I'm willing to put in the work and to literally deal and sort through it little by little because I know it's something that I need to work on and so I can heal myself and move on in my life so I can feel more of a whole person, if that makes sense, instead of a split, I press, you would say, pretty much. And that's, this is a huge thing for me to, to talk about because it's such a, a real sensitive topic and I feel really sensitive talking about it right now, but that's okay. I want to go through this, I want to feel it. It's just a sign that I know that I'm, I'm dealing with it and I'm dealing with it in the best way I can and trying to cope and move on with the situation that took place then. And I believe in my heart that I've forgiven um, my grandparent on who and which this took place with as a child. Um, it's like a hard topic to talk about, but I would rather talk about it and be able to be a blessing and help someone else that may be or, or is dealing with the same situation and just let you know that you are not alone. You are loved and you have support and there are resources out there for you. If you really feel like you need the help you need to get and you feel like you can't turn to your family or friends to help you through this. I am so happy that I have my dad and my mom and the people I have in my life to support me and through everything I've been through in my life, whether it be sexual abuse, mental abuse or domestic violent abuse growing up as a child and the friends I have that support me and I am blessed to say that I am much happier now it might not have come across in this video because I'm trying my best not to cry but one thing I want to say about that is that someone taught me a long time ago is that crying is not a sign of weakness but a sign of strength, so remember that. It is okay to cry, it is okay to feel, and to feel all of it, no matter how hard it is, and especially dealing with, you know, the sexual abuse and stuff like that, and know that you're not a victim any longer, that you don't have to feel like you are chained or bound by that 
that struggle or that, you know, that memory, you can free yourself from that and live fully and be fully loved and know that you are loved and that you are beautiful and that you're not dirty, that you are completely and utterly a whole person. And that no matter what, you have overcame that obstacle and you are not bound by that memory anymore. And that it is time to fully live your life and to allow yourself healing and not be afraid to be fully loved or feel like you have to have a wall up every time it comes to that. And I'm sorry if I cry right now because this is a hard video to make, but I felt like I was led to, to make this today, maybe for somebody or maybe for myself, and that's okay. But just know that you're not alone and that you are loved and you are beautiful inside and out and you are not bound by this. You are a survivor, you are a conqueror and you are a strong person and you don't have to allow this to torment you or you be a burden in your life no more. You can move on, you could live your life, you can be happy and you can allow any person in your life or relationship wise to fully love you and not feel like they won't love you because of something that you disclose to them. It is okay to be happy and to feel like you can just live your life to the fullest, you know? I know we go through a lot in life sometimes and feel like no one understands or understands us. But in, able to, but, but in order to fully allow someone to love you, you have to love yourself. And I know I talk about that on my, on my videos. And it's very true. You have to love yourself to allow someone to love you fully. And not be afraid to let them love you because of anything that's happened in your past. I know that's something I've always allowed to hold me back from fully being able to love or feeling closed off. And I'm sorry if my camera's kind of shaking because my hands are kind of shaking right now. But just know that you're not alone and that you're loved and you're beautiful. And it's okay to let your guard down, let your walls down and allow somebody to see that side of you and to be vulnerable and emotionally connected and not disconnected so that you can allow someone else to help you either get through this or help yourself get through this. And I just leave you with that and say that thank you to all of you, friends and family and others who have supported me on my journey. And as I continue to go through this journey, I know that I'll make it out and you will make it out, out of the end of this tunnel. And there is light and there's joy and there's love and there's happiness at the end of that tunnel. And be blessed and have a great day. And be strong because you can overcome this. If I can overcome this, you can overcome this. And I am working on that. And I'm gonna win. And so are you, you are gonna conquer this. Be blessed, be happy. I love you and I love myself. And I thank you all. Thank you guys. Till next time. Bye.